When starting this video series, my friends were disappointed. They said, Jiska, why do you call this reversing shorts when you never ever reverse engineer shorts? So in this video, I'm going to reverse engineer shorts. Before you start copying the pattern, get an idea how all the parts are sewn together, especially in which order. Turn the shorts inside out and pull one leg inside another. This looks super weird if you're doing this for the first time, but it makes copying easier. The first two seams in this short attach the front and the back, as well as the left and the right side to each other. These are the crotch seams. The outer side of the leg is attached with two straight stitches on top. This is a special effect for the bias tape, which is on the outside of these two straight stitches. Finally, the waistband is attached to the shorts. Now I can copy the pattern. Because of the elastic waistband, this is really challenging, but I also don't want to cut the original shorts apart, so I have to go with this. I estimate the overall stretch factor by stretching the fabric until there are no more visible wrinkles. Since I want the same stretch factor for the whole shorts, let's note that stretch shorts are around 48 centimeters in width. With the measuring tape on top, you can see that the front part of the shorts is around 12 centimeters wide with seam allowance. All right, let's turn the shorts inside out again, as this helps a lot with copying the parts on paper. A small sheet of paper fits completely under the shorts front. The lower parts are very easy to copy, but for the top, I'm estimating the stretch factor and double check it with the measuring tape. You can see that it's a bit wider than 12 centimeters, as this is including the seam allowance, but this is totally fine. The back side is harder to copy because I need to fold the shorts. I'm marking the fold line with crayon. Then I'm copying the parts again, including an estimate of the stretch. After finishing the first half, I'm turning it at the marked line and continue copying. Now the original shorts are really in the way, so I'm turning this a few times around and uh, yeah, at the end, it somehow works out, I copy single reference points and eventually straighten all the resulting lines so that it gives a smooth outline. Now we need one last check here that all sides that will be sewn together match lengths. I'm also slightly correcting curves here. The thin transparent paper makes this quite simple. Finally, I'm adding a bit of seam allowance on the top. Depending on how much seam allowance you need, you can also add this on all sides. Yay! The pattern is finished. But now we have to cut the fabric. Cutting out the main pieces is pretty simple and I mirror the parts. After cutting out the main pieces, I cut my own bias tape with 4 cm width. And I'm also cutting the waistband with 2 times the elastic width plus a little bit of seam allowance. Now we can start sewing. Following the previously created instructions, I attach all parts on the inside to each other. Double checking here, it weren't the wrong sides by folding everything into the form of the final shorts. Next I sew together the single pieces of bias tape. My cover lock machine has a utility for bias tape, so I can directly feed my 4 cm bias tape. Otherwise, you can use a flat iron or buy ready-made bias tape. The result looks pretty clean. There are still two open sides, which I search. Next, I attach the searched sides to the sides with the bias tape. To ensure I'm not off, I use fixing pins and double check everything overlaps correctly. I sew the parts together with two straight stitches on each side, exactly on top of the bias tape stitches. Now, I know the final width of my shorts, no matter if seam allowance was a bit off. I adjust the waistband length to the shorts width. The elastic band is a bit shorter. I'm using the same length as the original shorts here. I close the elastic band with a zigzag stitch. I also close the waistband fabric but was too lazy to use my searcher here. Next, I mark quarters on the elastic and the waistband fabric. By sewing them together, I stretch them. 
When you do this, always check that your needle position is down, otherwise you might pull your fabric out of the sewing machine. Almost finished. Using the same technique but with my serger, I attached the waistband. Again, I'm marking borders with crayon. Serging three layers of fabric and avoid cutting the elastic is quite challenging, but it worked out. The shorts are finished. I reversed on your shorts.